Good morning, my name is Peter Glor. I'm a research scientist at the MIT Center for Collective Intelligence in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and I'm also the chief creative officer of software company Galaxy Advisors, which is the developer of the tool Condor. It is headquartered in Switzerland, where I'm recording this video right now. In the next five minutes, I will be very happy to show you the features of Condor. Condor makes sense of large amounts of interaction data. It analyzes data on three levels on the global level, on the organizational level, and on the individual level. On the global level, it takes data from the internet, through the Google Search API, from blogs and web pages, Facebook data, it takes Twitter data, it takes Wikipedia data, and constructs social networks and um, semantic networks. It takes organizational data, mostly through email, but also through Yammer, and other organizational interaction archives to look at what organizations are doing. And then it also takes individual data, small team data of people interacting with each other and collecting the data through sociometric batches that people wear around their necks. Condor has a series of fetches that collect the data. Um, it has an email fetcher that behaves like an email client, it has a Facebook fetcher that collects the Facebook network. It has a web search fetcher that through the Google search API takes links between web pages and contents of web pages. It has a Twitter fetcher that takes data from the Twitter search API and streaming API. And it has a Wikipedia fetcher which constructs Wikipedia networks based on the link structure of Wikipedia pages and then loads all of this into a MySQL database. Let's now look at Condor in action. I'm starting Condor from the command line and it's now um, initializing the MySQL database connection. I have to log in into my database, which I'm doing right now into my local server. Now I open first a database and Inside a database, I can have different um, data sets. I'm taking right now a database which I have already preloaded from my own mailbox. And inside that database, I open one particular data set with uh, some emails that I have also already loaded. And when I open the data set, I have the option of filtering down by date selecting a shorter time range or I can filter by content uh, further restricting the emails I'm loading. I can also restrict the numbers of people I'm loading. In this case I'm taking everybody and now I have the um, static view um, that I'm opening up first. It will show me the social network so I'm making a little bit more space here on both sides zooming out a little bit I can now calculate a series of network metrics through the annotate function I can calculate between a centrality, degree centrality, closeness centrality which I'm doing right now I can now size by between a centrality and that will tell me who the most important people are Drawing the mouse over it. I'm the most central person here, it seems. I can color by domain name, for example. So we have this yellow org cluster here. We have the edu cluster for my mit.edu email address. And now I can also look at the content and calculate the sentiment. I can um, Annotate by language. I'm taking here just the subject line, for example, and I'm adding emotionality and complexity. Condor has built in a series of languages English, Spanish, French, German. And now I can look at the word cloud, and it will tell me who the most important words are. As this project is about UMI IBD, not surprisingly, that's the most central one. When I click on a certain word, I will get the word usage in the context. 
So we have 31 positive messages for the neutral and 11 negative about ones about Yumi IBD. I could have done the same analysis for the content, not just the subject. I can also look at how um, things change over time. I can look at uh, sentiment over time and it will tell me how positive or negative people were talking about a certain in a certain time period here. I can add emotionality and could also look at the complexity of the language. There isn't much here. I can now go back and annotate also by contribution index, for example, which measures how much of a sender or a receiver somebody is. So here I'm now bringing up the actor scatter plot and looking at total messages sent and received on the x-axis and contribution index which measures how much of a sender that would be a one or a receiver minus one on the y-axis somebody is. I am here very much on the by um, a receiver because obviously I didn't include my send folder. So the most active person here is Sophia. And then there are other active people here dragging the mouse over it will tell me who they are. I could also look at how positive people are by looking at average sentiment. And then I would see that Sophia and Peter are pretty well balanced, slightly positive. 0.5 sentiment would be um, neutral so we have a total of 420 messages and we are slightly positive here we have somebody who is extremely positive but doesn't send so much emails Sammy Kennedy finally I'm looking at the dynamic movie which I have to create first so I'm calling up the dynamic view I'm now just taking a time interval of always the last 60 days and sliding that along the time axis from April 16th to June 19th, 2014. And it will now calculate the notes and now I can speed up the movie and just play it back and see what happens. This will tell me, I will also zoom out a little bit, when there is most action. I can stop the movie and size the notes by between us. I can again color the notes. Let's choose domain this time. And now it keeps on playing. And I will see when new people are joining and old ones are leaving. And we have here myself. In the center and other groups popping up, coming and leaving. I'm now looking at uh, another uh, part of the uh, infosphere. I am creating a new data set to look at some Twitter data about Crohn's disease. So I'm creating the data set first. And now I am calling up the Twitter fetcher and I will just collect the tweets about Crohn's that um, have been the last 2000 um, active or have been tweeted over the last 10 days. I will connect them with the search term and now it's calling up my tweets collecting them, inserting them into the database. And now I can look at them. I can just create a static view. And the big term in the center, I will annotate it again. I will first um, calculate between us. And if I size by between us, Let's see who the most central term is here. Or I can also look at who is the most popular person, who has the most followers. And here we have those few people. 
we can look at what they are tweeting by just clicking on the line and here is their tweet so here um, John is talking about teenage drinking in Massachusetts we could again create movies we could again look at content so um, for now let's just um, color here by um, where tweets are coming from so here we have eastern US we have uh, London and so on Condor. Now let's get back to what we can use Condor for. Condor has been developed for creating coins, collaborative innovation networks, uh, which means doing two things, cool hunting and cool farming. Cool hunting means finding the cool trends by finding the most influential people and that's what we have seen. Cool farming means increasing collaboration between people and that's done by what we call virtual mirroring, which means showing a communication network, mirroring it back to the people that are involved in the communication. A key function of Condor is calculating the six honest signals of communication. It measures centrality of a person, how between or degree, um, the, what degree a person has, rotating leadership, how much the network position changes over time, measured as local maxima and minima in the betweenness curve. It measures honest sentiment, which measures positivity and negativity and emotionality of a person, a group and an entire network. It measures weighted variance in contribution index, how much of a sender or receiver somebody is. It measures how responsive somebody is, measured as average response time and number of notches it takes. And it measures innovativeness of language, how influential somebody or a group is by using and introducing new words. Those six variables have high predictive capability and are then used in cool farming by first calculating the structure of a network, second measuring those six honest signals of communication, third calibrate the six honest signals of communication for example with a regression against a dependent variable which is a performance metric of the network and finally coming up with recommendation of how one can improve the functioning or the performance or the creativity of a particular network. You can download Condor from guardian.galaxyadvisors.com slash guardian. After having signed up, you will get a trial key which gets you um, Condor for two weeks. You can, if you are an academic, request a free academic license or you can contact us for a commercial license. If you would like to know more about Condor, you will find a lot of information on um, the three, in the three books, Swarm Creativity, Cool Hunting and Cool Farming. And there is also an annual conference, the next one next spring in Tokyo where you will learn about a lot of uses of Condor. So please come join us and try Condor out. We would love to hear from